another video. My name is Silson. Today I bring you my most disappointed reads. I don't even know where to start with this video. Uh, this doesn't mean that uh, you're not allowed to love these books or think that they're amazing books. These are just reads that have disappointed me or that I had high hopes for and they just let me down. And I'm not saying they're bad unless I said they're bad. But I think I am allowed to have an opinion on the books that I don't like as well as the books that I love or like. So this that's that's all I'm saying, okay? Let's start. Let's start with a book that a lot of people have feelings for and that is Mockingjay by Susan Collins. Do I really need to say anything? or why I found this very disappointing. If you guys have not heard of The Hunger Games, you've been living on a rock, but this book is very disappointing to me, mostly because there, there were some deaths that I was not really happy with and still to this day don't understand why they needed to happen. I was still, I was very mad at Katniss for most of the part on this book for some reason. And yeah, this just, it just, it let me down so bad. I still love the trilogy, I love the movies, um, but yeah, this is just not a favorite of mine, so this was very disappointing. Now this book is the third in a trilogy that I love, but then this book just kept me pushing back, pushing back, and then when we finally got the result, it just didn't, wasn't, it just, I don't know how to say it, it just wasn't as great as everybody was thinking, like, yeah, that, and it was very disappointing. That is The Retribution of Mara Diabite with Michelle Hawking. I had really high hopes for this since it was being pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. And then we got the final resu result and this happened. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. So I'm kind of in the middle, but it was very disappointing in the fact that this book had just kept pushing back and forth. And for this to be the result was kind of like, Mm, no. So yeah, I love the characters, I love the story, but this book was just kind of all over the place and I just didn't really enjoy that. But if I think most of the people already know about this book. I still recommend the trilogy because I feel like the characters are really what make the whole trilogy and rest, that's just me though. But if you are planning to read this or I'm not sure, I'd say pick it up. I mean, you might love it, who knows. There's still people, there's people that they love this book, some people don't, some people are hated, but I'm kind of like in the middle. I was just disappointing. The next book is Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler. A lot of people love this book. They say that um, they, they literally felt like they break up with someone as they read along. Um, I was very disappointed with this because I didn't feel anything. <laughs> Basically, the book is about a woman who is talking or describing uh, her breakup through different objects of that meant something in her relationship with this person and as she's showing you this object she's telling you the story of how this object came to be and why she needed to get rid of it because this person and whatnot and i just didn't feel connected with the story or the character so that's why it was very disappointing because i just didn't feel anything so i yeah that's why it's here in my most disappointed reads. Another disappointing read is Miss Mayhem by Rachel Hawkins. Haw yeah, Hawkins. I was expecting a lot from this book. Um, if you have not heard of this book, it's the second book in the Rebel Bell trilogy. Uh, the first book, Rebel Bell, is about a girl named Harper and she is a prop knight and suddenly some dude comes in her the girl's bathroom and gives her powers. And that's really how everything just goes. But yeah, this is this book was very disappointing. Um, this book really like picks up where the first book ended, but it ends. First of all, it's short, like really short. It ends like on a cliffhanger. Things were very mixed up. Like things were happening, but things weren't happening. If that makes sense, it was there was a lot of information going on. But there's, there wasn't really any action, so that it was kind of boring, kind of lacking in that sense. So that's why I, it was, I was kind of disappointed because I was waiting for it with anticipation, and when I got it, it was kind of like let down. I'm not saying it's bad. I love Rachel Hawkins' writing. I love the characters, but it just felt flat for me. The next book is Panic by Lauren Oliver. 
This is my first Lauren Oliver book. I was very disappointed with this book. Um, I actually want to get rid of it because I don't want it anymore. That's how disappointed I am with it. First of all, the characters, I couldn't relate to any of the characters. I hated one of the characters so bad, so much. And I thought that the story was going to be more, I don't know how you could say, like more extreme. Um, this book follows a girl and her friends that at their school they do this thing, annual thing for like the end of the year or senior year called the panic games and the panic games are supposed to be like um, like very extreme and stuff but when you read the, what the challenges are you're just like okay it, those are like that's oh, okay what I mean is that they weren't very amazing as the like they were trying to, to like sell this book so yeah I didn't like it, it fell flat for me so Another, this is a very well-known book, and it's a lot of people's favorite book. It's not mine, because I was really annoyed by it, and that is Paper Times by John Green. A lot of people love this book. It's fine if you do, it just wasn't for me. I didn't like the main character, I hated Margot. The only reason why I read it was because I wanted to read it before the movie, and I won't, and I also, because it was John Green. I had this book on my bookshelf and I was like, I need to read this. This is the perfect timing. The movie's coming out. I'm gonna read the book. I read the book and it was very disappointing. The only thing that I love about this book is the, is the road trip aspect and the, the side characters, Quentin's friends. I love Quentin's friends so much in this book. And yeah, this, it's the only reason why I finished it. I was really, I was having a hard time reading this book. If you do not know what Paper Towns is about, it's basically about a guy falling in love with this girl named Margot and she suddenly goes missing so he kind of finds clues about her of how where she goes or where she is. So she fall so he follows those clues and and look for for her and that's when the things go on with the road trip thing. But yeah, that's mainly the reason why I didn't like it and I was very disappointed with it and I didn't like the movie, so yeah. This is a kind of weird book to be disappointed at because I wanted to fall in love with it, but I didn't. But I don't hate it, so I'm kind of like in the middle of it and that is The Fifth Way by Rick Yancey. I actually read the second book and I really, really loved it. So yeah, I mean, like I said, this book, I don't hate it, I don't love it, I'm in the middle, but I was disappointed because I thought I was gonna love it, and I didn't. Uh, this follows a girl named Cassie in a post-apocalyptic world, I guess you could say. Uh, it's called the fifth wave because there are four, four waves that came before the fifth wave, duh. Um, and basically it's about aliens and humans and stuff that happening, yeah, so. That's, I'm, like I said in my other videos, I'm bad at telling you what books are, but that, that's basically what the book is about. That's all I can tell you why I didn't like this book or why it disappointed me. I, I guess I just had really high expectations for it and it was just kind of like, okay. Hmm. But it, it kept me interested enough to read the second book, which I did, so yay! Now this book was very disappointed and it, and it made me to the, disappointed to the point that I actually hate the book and that is me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. I hated this book. I this is actually a very disappointing read, and it's a book that I hate. It's I just I can't I can't deal with this. I don't want this book anymore on my shelf. Like it's literally in like the last shelf corner. Like I I can't see this book. Um, I just didn't like it. I don't like the main character. I didn't like this like the story. Like I didn't. A lot of people say it was funny, and I didn't. They were, like I think instead of laughing, I was rolling my eyes throughout the whole entire book. And I think, like I think, oh, I actually have a review of this book. I'll link it here down below or somewhere here on the eye. Um, yeah, I don't like it. Don't like the plot. Don't like the characters. And I definitely do not like the humor in this book. Um, Maybe I have a really weird or random sense of humor, but this just wasn't for me. I did not like. No, I I can't. I didn't. I didn't like any of any of this book. I actually yes, there's something I liked about this book. I liked that there were some like script form dialogue. That's what I loved. That's the only thing I love from the book. But other than that, 
didn't like it, don't recommend it. If you want to go ahead and give it a try, go ahead, but I just didn't like it. Another book that was really disappointed, I'll put the picture here because I don't own it, that is The Death Group by James Dashner. I had like, this is my, seriously my journey to reading the Maze Runner series. I read the Maze Runner, it took me three weeks to finish that book because it was so slow. Nothing was happening until like the last few chapters. That's when it grabbed me. I read The Scorched Trials. It was amazing. Well, at least for me, it was amazing. I loved Brenda and uh, sorry, I don't know if that's a spoiler, but that's when we meet Brenda. Um, I loved the second book and then we got to the third book and it was like, what is this? Like it went like this and then it just suddenly went downhill for me. Um, it's not a bad trilogy. I enjoyed it for the most part, but the last book was just not no, no. Another book that it was that is still very hyped up. It's Red Rising by Pierce Brown, but for me, it let me down. Like I was expecting it to be like this epic thing, and maybe it is. But for me, when I read it, it was kind of like, okay, this is cool, but okay. So this is very. It's hard for me to explain why it was disappointed. But it was just disappointing because I just had a lot of hopes for it and it just it didn't exceed those expectations. So I might read the second book, not sure when, but I really I'm interested enough to read the second book to see where things go. But i as of right now, I don't have any interest in reading it or picking it up s soon. Another book is Never Never Part 3 by Colin Hoover and Tyron Fisher. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge Colleen Hoover fan, and this book was really a letdown for me. Like, it was, it went up, and then it just, literally, it didn't even go like this, it just went down. Like, what happened? I, it, it was kind of like very anticlimactic ending, like, okay, that happened. Basically, this is like a three-part story, I guess you could say. It's basically about two, one boy and a girl, that suddenly they're in classroom and they forget who they are. And forget why they're there and stuff like that and they kind of they lose their memory at the exact same time so they're kind of trying to figure out why it's happening how am I why am I why you and I are the only ones that cannot remember any of the stuff that happened and that's it's kind of like a journey with them where you discover why they lose their memories and when you find out why they lose their memories kind of like oh it was just very anticlimactic for me Another book that was kind of disappointed, it, well, it's not disappointed, I was I had high hopes for, that is The Ruby Circle by Richelle Mead. This is the last book in the Bloodline series, which is a spin-off series, it was a Vampire, Vampire Academy series. That's a mouthful, but um, everything, like every, it's, it's like I got everything I wanted from that series, from that series and the Vampire Academy series, but it just, it, the, but Those are all the books that I have for you right now that are disappointing to me. So please tell me down below what are your most disappointed reads so far this year or previous years. Doesn't matter because all of these books are like random. There's no really a year where I read them and you know, I think you understand what I'm saying. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye! It was gone. And it's currently 12.47 in the morning, and I just finished Stars Above of Marisa Meyer, and oh my god, I loved it. I loved it. The epilogue was everything to me. Like, I, I actually shed a few tears.